And now we're in the kitchen with Chef Tag, and we are going to do some cooking with kale. What are we going to make? Uh, we are going to make uh, sort of a Mediterranean-inspired dish with some uh, marinated and grilled chicken. Um, that's going to be uh, served with a uh, composed salad uh, with some kale, uh, some farro, some feta cheese, uh, some mints. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that a little lemon zest, olive oil. Fabulous. All right, and I know you want to start with the chicken, which is well underway. What have you done to get us to this point? Um, what I've done with the chicken, um, I've purchased uh, some really nice chicken tenders for this dish. Uh, you can use uh, chicken breast if you like. Um, I just like the tenders because when they cook, they stay a little more moist. Um, I use the basic mustard vinaigrettes uh, for marinade. Um, I'll do that uh, on the counter for about two hours before I grill. Um, I like the chicken to be, you know, kind of getting close to room temperature. It grills a little nicer. Uh, season them, throw them on the grill, and uh, we've already done that. They have right. some great uh, grill flavor already, yeah. seasoning, and we're just going to uh, pop this in the oven and um, warm them up a little bit. All right, fabulous. <laughs> All right, and now on to the kale. And yes. there, there are different kinds of kale. What are we using today? Um, this kale um, was uh, picked yesterday um, morning. This came from uh, a farm in Grimes uh, called Wabi Sabi Farm. And this looks like a little more tender than some of the, the other yeah, kinds. Yeah, yeah, so I had. This is better I had, in a salad application. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, okay. I, had, I had Ben pick me some, some really small um, uh, leaves uh, that, that work very well if you're kind of doing them, you know, in a, in a salad application. So these are kind of smaller to medium sized. Uh, so we're going to start with um, some of these kale leaves uh, that have been uh, picked and washed. Um, I take the, take the stems off and we're going to start by adding the uh, lemon juice and lemon zest um, just to let the acidity start to work on the leaves a little sure. bit first. And then we're going to add to this uh, some farro. Uh, farro is a um, really nice grain, um, kind of a, a chewy texture, um, a little chewier than rice and a little bigger than rice. Okay. Um, this, this is just cooked with water. Okay. So we're mixing up enough for about one serving here in the salad. Then we're going to take some mint leaves, kind of the, uh, Help uh, brighten up the uh, bitterness of the kale a little okay. bit. Kind of going for a little Mediterranean-inspired flavors with this dish. Uh, we'll put some red onions in there. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about this salad is when you make it, you can put, um, if you're using leaves that are a little bit larger than this, more medium-sized leaves uh, that, are that are washed and torn into pieces, uh, you can assemble this with the farro, um, the lemon juice, and then I'm going to add the olive oil. I can smell that mint too, that's great. And then we're just going to season this lightly. Mm -hmm. Now you can assemble this unseasoned and without the feta cheese, and it could uh, sit in your fridge for a day. Oh, nice. And kind of work on the greens a little bit. Great. So if you're having a cookout or something like that, and you let the, the acidity work its magic, yeah. Then yeah. it'll be delicious. Yeah. All right, looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we'll just start by uh, plating the nice greens and onions, mints. Get all that farro on there. Yeah, it looks wonderful. Then we're gonna top it with some feta cheese. Uh, you know, the creaminess of that cheese is really gonna help cut through uh, the bitterness of the greens mm -hmm. as well. And, Get a nice mixture of the mint, the olive oil, the lemon. Nice light salad. Wonderful. Oh, that's beautiful. And Excellent. I need to try some. Looks terrific. I'll try this leaf right there. Mm. Mm, that's really good. And the lemon is so. Pungent, that's wonderful. And the mint is great. And not, the kale's not particularly bitter. That's wonderful. That's terrific. Thank you so much. Yeah, excellent. 
we are going to make another kale salad. And now the last time we cooked with kale, it was raw. This time we're using raw kale again. And that really preserves all the nutrients in the kale, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it preserves uh, the nutrients and um, uh, a lot of the um, antioxidant properties okay. of the kale. All right, so it's great to cook with, but if you want to maximize its impact, raw is yeah. even better, yeah. right? Yeah, raw or juiced, um, or if you're going to cook with it, they say, you know, be as minimal as you can. Um, All right. Maybe steaming okay. um, or a quick saute. All right, so what are we going to do here? Uh, uh, we're going to make a, a composed salad um, with some kind of non-traditional ingredients, um, but they kind of work out with the, with the kale leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make a dressing first. All right. Uh, so in the bowl, I have uh, some honey and white wine vinegar. Okay. And we're going to make a honey celery seed dressing. Oh, okay. So we're going to kind of uh, whisk this together, kind of get it emulsified. Uh, we'll add our oil, and we'll get it ready for the uh, salad. Mm -hmm. um, adding my dry ingredients to the bowl, uh, celery seed, paprika, uh, dried mustard, and salt. Okay. And then about a tablespoon of uh, grated um, yellow onion. Okay. And we'll just put that in. And then we'll start to work on the dressing. Nice. Just kind of add the oil in a steady stream. And, and then any leftovers you could put into a a carafe to use later on. Yeah, yeah. I like to um, um, either keep them in a squirt bottle at home or else mm -hmm. just put them in a mason jar in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Um, that way, if they separate, it's you easy to shake, shake them, them back up, up and, yep. um, and then you can just pour it right out onto your salad. That's terrific. I needed about a cup of oil. I think we probably got about three quarters of a cup now, maybe. All right. And the dressing's kind of starting to come together a little more. Helps with the uh, even coating of the leaves. Mm -hmm. I'm going to taste this and see how we're doing on it. Paprika's really coming through. Oh, good. All right, so now we have um, a mix of some baby lettuces and some kale leaves in here. Uh, these are smaller leaves, uh, a little more tender. Blend themselves a little nice, uh, nicer to the salad. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna spoon some dressing in here and then we'll give this a light toss and we'll start to plate it. All right, wonderful. Try and get the leaves evenly coated. This is a, a real nice salad that you wanna make and serve right away. You don't want the leaves to get soggy, right? Yeah. All right, now we'll add some dried cherries. Oh, wonderful. That's always a good idea. And then we're going to add some um, roasted sweet potatoes. Oh. I take these sweet potatoes and I dice them. Um, try to keep them uniform, about a half inch dice. Mm -hmm. um, some real finely minced fresh rosemary, oh. olive oil and I just roast them in the oven. Okay. If they're a little too small, they'll get too dark. Um, if they're a little too big, they'll get dark, but they won't cook all the mm -hmm. way through. Well, these so. aren't flavors I would have thought of together, but I'm, I'm getting excited. <laughs> and then we're gonna top it off with some sunflower seeds for a little crunch. Perfect. All right. There we go, kale there salad. Let's try it. Okay. Gotta make sure I get cherries and sweet potatoes and kale. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. And it really, really works together. Chef Tag, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm gonna have more.